Welcome to another manga haul. This month I have two boxes to open up for you guys. I was able to get more pre-orders to update my collection along with two new series that I wanted to try out. My first series I got was from Simon & Schuster and I was able to pick up the first three omnibus volumes of 20th Century Boys. The story follows a group of friends who are trying to save the world from an evil mastermind who's using their old childhood plans to end the world. They made the plans as children having fun with their imagination and plotting how they would end the world but little did they know that one mysterious person would actually use it when they are now adults. I've read through these three volumes and I really enjoy this series. The world building is amazing, the cast of characters are all great, and I especially love that the story introduces a lot of mystery and leaves the reader not knowing what can happen next. It is a wildly unpredictable story with layers of mystery and sci-fi. I will definitely be picking up the rest of this series for a future haul. My second and last box is from Right Stuff. Now that my collection has gone so big so fast, I'm trying to slow down with buying too much manga, so mainly I've been shopping on Right Stuff's weekly deals since I think it's the cheapest and gives me more time to read my manga instead of buying manga. And so with the first series I got from Right Stuff today is One Punch Man volumes 11 to 13. One Punch Man is one of the best action comedies that I've ever read that follows Saitama, who is a hero for fun, capable of beating any villain with just one punch. If you watched the anime and was wondering if the manga had the same intensity for the fight scenes, I can assure you that it definitely does. The art in this manga is incredibly detailed and you feel very engaged in the action that happens every single chapter. If you watched the anime and you liked it, or if you're just looking for a new action manga, One Punch Man is a must-have for any manga fan. Next I have the 15th volume of We Never Learn. A really cute harem romance of a high school student tutoring different girls who each fall in love with him. What I find bad about most harem romances is that the main male character will be dull so it doesn't really make sense to me why all these girls are attracted to such a boring person. However, the main character here is really kind and charismatic with a strong sense of helping others, which is what leads the girls to like him since he fully supports their dreams. Every volume slowly moves the plot along so it's not a slice of life type story where the characters are stuck in one year for the entire story. This is a really nice romance manga that I like to read while I'm relaxing after a long day and this volume has a lot of what I like about this series where each of the chapters will give one of the girls a moment to shine. I really recommend We Never Learn for any fans of harm romance. Next, I finally got Volume 4 of Chainsaw Man, a really gruesome action manga that is both intense and hilarious to read. The premise is simple and is about a boy who's at the brink of death and is fused with the chainsaw devil and gains the power to create chainsaws out of his arms and his head. Using these chainsaws, he teams up with other devil hunters in order to kill the evil devils. You'll really love the characters in the story because of their unique personalities and great chemistry. I really like stories that add a layer of mystery to different events and characters which makes you want to keep reading to unravel the those secrets. It's a really great series that is a lot of fun to read because of the action and the comedy. If you have a chance to pick up this series, I highly recommend it since the anime is currently in production and will potentially be releasing later this year. My next series is probably the creepiest in my collection called Blood on the Tracks, a story that follows a boy growing up with an extremely overprotective mother. The events in this story are horrifying to say the least. It's near impossible to predict what messed up things will happen next in the story. I wouldn't say this story is necessarily horror, but more of a psychological thriller with the events along with the video will leave you with a chill down your spine. The artwork is simple yet captures the characters emotions very well. Characters in this story all have different traumas that run deep and influence their messed up actions so you understand why they do what they do which I think is really important. All in all I'm really excited to read this new volume and see where the story is going from here. I really recommend this to you guys who are looking for a new unpredictable thriller story. Next I got Volume 12 of Grand Blue Dreaming, a hilarious manga that takes place in a college diving club. Unlike other slice of life comedies, Grand Blue has a linear story about a guy learning how much fun it is to deep sea dive. The story isn't completely focused on diving, as a slice of life it has plenty of chapters that are random but hilarious to read, but even the random chapters don't feel like filler because they add to the overall story. This volume has the main characters going back home where you meet the parents and get to see more of his sister who's another great character. This is a great comedy manga that can be recommended for anyone to read especially beginners since this story is so easy to get into. My last series I found on Right Stuff's weekly deal is called Paradise Kiss, a group of self-styled fashionistas who one day kidnap our main character, a high school girl who is a bookworm and forced into the world of fashion by being Paradise Kiss's exclusive model. I bought this because it had good reviews on my anime list, but I should have checked closer because I didn't realize this story was a sequel to another series called Neighborhood Story. If you know anything about Paradise Kiss, please comment and let me know if I can read this without reading Neighborhood Story first. I see that 
that the main characters are different, so it could be a loose continuation of the first story in the same world. But yeah, please let me know if you're familiar at all with the story. I just want to know if I messed up, if I can read this now, or if I should just buy the first neighborhood story first. That's everything I got from Right Stuff today. If you're planning on buying any of these or anything else on Right Stuff, please use my affiliate link below as it helps out the channel. I'm sorry I don't have a specific posting schedule right now. I'm going to try my best to post weekly, but for now, you guys can expect at least two new videos every month. That's all for this month's manga haul. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.